when it comes to driving through the covers, international cricketers might be best in the world. But when it comes to driving on a motorway, things start falling apart. Here we look at 6 different types of drivers that cricketers make. Let's start by looking at cricketers who blended their drinks with some driving and getting busted. Vinod Kamli was arrested for drink and driving and smashing his car on a society gate. In 2014, Herschel Gibbs drunk smashed into another car, ending up spending the night in the jail. And it was not even the first time Gibbs was caught in a drunk driving case. Jesse Ryder was fined by the police for driving after enjoying his cocktail night. Ryder was put under counselling and supervision and also faced a short term ban on driving itself. Uh, basically, Ryder wasn't a rider anymore. I'm a rider, Another New Zealand player, Doug Bracewell, had to rush home even though he was drunk because his pet parrot was being eaten up by dogs. Just that on the way, he met the cops. In the court, Grace will try to provide an explanation about the parrot and the dogs, but it wasn't good enough. Another pet-loving drunken cricket driver is Graham Swan. In August 2010, Swan had to dash away from his 31st birthday party to buy some screwdrivers to help his cat who was trapped in a floorboard. But again, the pet had to wait because the cricketer met the cops on the way again and all Swan could tell the cops was Not every cricketer is having a blast out there. Some of them are just doing it because they have to. Chris Keynes, the star all-rounder from New Zealand, faced a major fall from grace. He had major match-fixing allegations against him and the legal proceedings ran through his corpuses. But to support his family, he had to resort to driving trucks that water clean the bus shelters in New Zealand. Also, a couple of Sri Lankan cricketers, Suraj Randeev and Jaya Singhe, are now working in Australia driving public buses to make their ends meet. They are though hopeful of getting a call up from the Australian T20 League, the Big Bash. Indian off spinner Harbhajan Singh also contemplated moving to Canada and driving trucks there to support his family after his father's death. Fortunately, Bhaji chose the Dusra option. The need for speed drivers. An English fast bowler really felt the need for speed. Andrew Flintoff joined the Top Gear team along with Paddy McGuinness and Chris Harris to host the motoring show, trying out some of the fastest and unique driving experiences. Another English fast bowling all-rounder, Ben Stokes, preferred putting his hands behind a joystick rather than a steering wheel to showcase his driving prowess, competing with Formula 1 drivers in F1 eSports. And don't forget the need for money. Sachin Tendulkar sold the Ferrari gifted to him by F1 champion Michael Schumacher as the taxes incurred by Tendulkar on the car were just too much. Tendulkar preferred to get rid of the car than paying around 150,000 US dollars as taxes on the car every year. We saw the desperation the drunken driving and the need for speed and money. But none of these things can shake a true family man and Yuvraj Singh is truly one. While Yuvi loves his motorbikes and has a fair collection of motorbikes, but he doesn't drive them because for him family comes first. Yuvi's mother has apparently made his son take an oath to not drive motorbikes. Not in front of the cameras Yuvi. This was it regarding cricketers and their weird driving habits. If you like my content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dirty Duck Cricket.